Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks in Shandalar. And um, I believe, if I remember correctly, I was in the middle of a mission. Let's go, Timmy goes green. Oh, okay, before, <laughs> I wanted to check the map to see where I was, but I guess I got to battle the, the centaur shaman. Uh, but before I start with this battle, first, a quick message from our sponsor. 3 for 1 Trading is one of Europe's leading Magic the Gathering retailers. Their online shop has a fantastic selection of high-end Magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and, yes, yes, old school Magic players. They now exclusively offer my community free, fully insured and fast worldwide shipping on all their high-end singles, full sets and out-of-print sealed products. They upload new cards every Wednesday and have weekly sale offers and reductions waiting just for you. Use my code TIMMY to get free worldwide shipping on your first order over $500 or euros. Have fun ordering those cards and thank you 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Okay, and uh, we are back. Uh, yeah, let's let's jump in. Let's duel this entire shaman. Oh man. This is a, this is a, this is like a busy start. Like I just wanted to check the map, see where I was at, but because I was in the middle of a mission, right? Anyway, um, so Ice Storm and Anti. I don't want to lose that. Um, Forest Sylvan Taiga Taiga Giant Spider Mountain Landover. This is decent. I can I can make this work. Would be nice actually to have an Ice Storm or an Untamed Wilds next turn. But of course I can do Sylvan Attack with Landover. Turn after that, play Spider. So that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Mountain. Uh, let's first attack. Hey, 19. Now we go. Sylvan. Passes the turn. Can go Taiga Spider next turn. Okay, so I go Sylvan, and I gotta click on here, I think. Let's go, put back, what do I have? Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna put back the forest, and then I put back the scimitar, and then I'm gonna keep the Lanawer. Um, Let's go Taiga. Mm. I'm gonna go Giant Spider. I was thinking to do either Giant Spider or Lanawer in the tech with Lanawer for one. Oh, new let's. Okay. Let's go Sylvan again. Let's see, what do we have? Let's put back, uh, boom, put back, boom, let's go Taiga. Let's first attack. Okay, then we go Dance of Scimitar, and we can go Lanor Elves. So far, so good. Hmm, computer is thinking quite long. Okay, ritual into warp artifact. Oh, warp artifact. That's a classic. So during my upkeep, I take a damage from warp artifact. That's annoying. That's annoying. Um, okay. Nothing I can do against it. Do I still play with tranquility? I think I've got one tranquility in the deck. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think I do. Um, put back. I'm gonna pay for life. I'm gonna draw an extra card. Uh, let's go this one. Let's attack. Oh wow. Okay, so now I can play Bolt. Now Bolt is really good. Done. Yeah, this is always nice about Lightning Bolt. If they try to double block, because Lightning Bolt is instant speed, you can take out one of the blockers, and then with your attacking creature, right, the Giant Spider in this case, take out the other one. It's quite nice. Yeah. 
Ooh, there's another Holy Let. The 2-2. Two, two. Let's take some damage. Upkeep. Let's see. Can we find something useful? Oh, Force of Nature. That is really good. And I can cast it, I think. Let's go for the Force. Let's keep life simple. Let's attack. Yeah, this is looking great. Like next turn I can attack for eight with the force. There's a dervish. Okay, okay. Lots of stuff happening now in the upkeep. This is what, what magic was like in the olden days. Upkeep mattered. I think there was a moment in magic that they wanted to kind of get rid of the upkeep. I think now it's they've kind of returned to the upkeep with some cards. I'm happy to see that because upkeep is just an important part of the, of the game. A f an interesting part of the game. Let me put it like that. Um, let's put that one back. Let's put that one back. Just gonna go for a basic forest. I'm a simple man. Um, I'm just gonna attack with everything, whatever. Okay, take the damage, sure. Let's put my factory over here. I mean, next turn I should be able to finish the job. Another dervish, okay. Fair enough. Um, let's pay upkeep cost. Done. Warp artifact damage, done. Then we've got the Sylvan stuff to deal with. Let's have a look. Put back on library. Put back on library. Um, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be game anyway. Let's animate this one. You know what? I'm just gonna attack with everything because it just it's always fun to attack with everything. For some reason I enjoy saying that everything. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, look look at him, look at him block. Okay. Uh wow, all those cards. Not a lot of cards I can play with. Red Elemental Blast is useful. Oh, Tonsis Coffin! That is a cool card. I'm really happy with that. Okay. Oh, found a demonic horde. It's talking about cool cards. Um, okay. I think I gotta go to Andor's Hole, right? Go east to Andor's Hole. Okay. Let's check. Okay, very close to Andor's Hole. I'm gonna again sell some cards. Psionic Blast. Wow, that's, that card's worth a lot. Oh, look. So I don't play with black, right? These are just cards that I've won. But look at the, the cards I have. They're so cool. Oh, man. And now the Mnemonic Hortz as well. Oh. It's going to be tough not to make a black deck at a certain point. Um, buy cards. Abomination. That art. Look at that art. Um, okay, speak to the wise man. The people applaud your brave struggle to free Shandlar from the tyranny of the five wizards. To assist you, I shall fortify you with what? It's so annoying, like you can't see that last line. It's like a glitch, glitch in the game. Um, okay, let me check out. Where am I? Andor's Hole is very close. I'm just going to go to Andor's Hole. Andor's Hole, here I come. Whoa, what happened? I didn't even see that. Uh, the Beastmaster. A spell from my deck. Yes, what spells do you have? Ooh, Birds of Paradise is good. I could also go for Ashwin Jaguar. Ooh, this is tough. Birds is more useful, but I should go for Jaguar. Jaguar is cool. The White Wizard is attacking something. Okay, whatever. Hey! I'm rewarded. Uh, Paladin attacking Unicorn's Haven. Where's Unicorn's Haven? I gotta go all the way back to the west side? Are you kidding me? 
I know I can jump there with the uh, with the white amulet, but the gem or whatever it's called. But I, I wanted to get my last world magic. North to Hornwall Mill. Okay, where's Horn Hornwall Mill? All the way up there, really? Um, what did I do? I wanted to walk faster. This is not walking faster. Where am I now? Oh man, this whole thing is backfiring on me. Um, I just want to walk really fast. Spell from my deck. Uh, for Journey Chandra's pretty cool. I'm just gonna take that. Oh, I gotta duel the War Mage. Dang it! Play first. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I gotta take a mulligan. Gotta take a mulligan. Starting with Thomas' coffin. That's from my last battle, right? That's pretty cool. Um, forest. Factory. Cockatrice. Sylvan. Spider. Berserk. Forest. Okay, fair enough. Let's go with this, and then next turn I can hit him for two. I, I'm going so fast with that green speed-up jewel, by the way. Let's go forest. Oh, yeah, I should play Sylvan. Could also go, I should go Lanor maybe. Yeah, I should go Lanor Elf. Next turn, play Giant Spider. Oh, well, fair enough. No! Lightning Bolt! In a way, that's good because I was planning on animating the factory, so then I would have lost the land. So I guess this was a good decision. A flower stone, okay. Let's play Soul Ring, and now I can still play out the spider next turn the cockatrice. It's so nice to get that soul ring from the top of the deck, you know, like boom, I'm back. Oh, Mana Flare. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay. Um, it's that scary, to be honest. Um, I can make eight mana. That's pretty good, actually. Um, two, two, six. Done. Then we're going to do Ice Storm. We're going to destroy land. Then we're going to attack. Whenever someone plays a Mana Flare, I get a little bit worried, you know, because then usually they just play big fireballs. Smoke, okay. Yeah, smoke's good. Oh, Earthquake of Five! Are you kidding me? Okay. Um, what do I have? <coughs> okay, I got a spider. I can do that. Let's play spider. Let's attack. And then we're going to play a Sylvan. Done. So next turn I can attack for four. If I animate my factory, I can attack for six. Oh, I'm forgetting my Sylvan. Stupid. Uh, oh, I can play force now. That, ah, uh, play force. That's like a total no-brainer. Um, I'm just gonna attack with the cockatrice. It's gonna attack with one. Oh, I can play the, oh, it's gonna be so much fun, the force. Maybe if I play, uh, draw into another green, I can also play a berserk over the force. Yeah. 
Or wait a minute, she'd have taken the damage and just go force for 16. Stupid, stupid, that's a mistake. I can now attack for 12. Hmm. Just gonna attack with the one. Okay, let's pay the upkeep and then hopefully destroy my opponent and then I can try to buy that world magic and free the town. Let's attack. Where am I? I need to go to what? What's it? Oh yeah, Hornwall Mill. This is Hornwall Mill. Bay to gold, and now I need to go to whatever city's under attack. There we go. So finally, so I got the world magic, and now I'm gonna free the city. <sighs> it feels a little. It feels a little hectic today. Paladin won the toss. Okay, that's not great. Okay, the hand's looking okay. Mountain, Lanawer, Cockatrice, Forest, Trike, Strip, my Forest. So I can go Forest, Lanawer, pass turn, maybe turn after Strip. I could also go Strip first. Hmm. Maybe against this deck, I should just go Strip first. We shall see if this was wise. There's an island, okay. Uh, okay, so now we can do Forest Lanower. Pass the turn. Next turn I can go Mountain Sylvan. Sylvan. Pass is a turn. I don't want to trade my Lanover for Vanellish, I think. I want to keep ramping. Maybe get Cockatrice out early, get Trike out early. Maybe find an Untamed Wilds next turn with the Sylvan. Oh, there's some good cards here. So Force can go back, uh, put back. Pyro is gonna be really good later on. Um, so I can go Forest and then I can go Giant Badger and I wanna keep my red mana open for, um, for a Bolt. Okay, pass the turn. Yeah, Badger, really cool card. There he goes, and there he goes, let's block the white knight. Let's use the Sylvan again. Would be really nice to kind of maybe find Untamed Wild. Mmm, two pyrotechnics, that's unfortunate. I mean they're good they're good cards, but right now I need more mana. Um I could go lightning bolt attack with the badger, but I think it's better just to be patient. I don't think I don't think uh, my opponent understands how Giant Badger works. Okay, let's put some stuff back. Um, that one and that one. We of course want to draw the Lanawer. This is really good because if we're drawing the Lanawer. 
it means that I've got five mana for Cockatrice next turn. Mountain, that's useful. Oh, wow, I can cast Triskelion. That's really good. Uh, why didn't I attack with Giant Badger last turn? Hmm, I have no idea. But this is looking good. Ah. I can attack with the trike next turn and the badger. And I've got, I mean, look at my hand. My hand's really good. Uh, oh, okay. So now we can respond by killing the banalish before the holy strength is enchanted. So that fizzles. Nice two for one. Let's go Sylvan again. Put it back on library. Let's have a look. What do we have? Force back. Actually, I can almost play out the force, which is cool. Um, let's go cockatrice. Yeah, this ge this game is not going to last long. Let's attack two five seven. Put him on nine. I don't even need the force here. I can just attack next tur turn and finish it with burn. I think. Two, five, six, I don't even need the burn. Well, depends on what he's gonna play. What are you gonna do, Paladin? Old pal, you're gonna play a Paladin. That's flavor points. <clears throat> put back on library. That one, put back on library. That one. Um, I could just play Pyrotechnics, put them on eight, and then I can finish it. Let's do that. One, two, three, and four. Okay, good. And I'm gonna attack him with everything. So two, five, seven, eight, nine points of damage coming in. Hey! Wow, so many cards. And I'm getting an ivory cup. I just want to go in the village. Okay, finally. Uh, buy cards, nothing useful. Buy some food. Trade black amulets for any creature. Ooh, I could do that, I think. I want a Shivan dragon. Um, Shivan dragon. How expensive is that? Yes, I'll trade. Okay. Boom, I got a Shiva, baby! Oh, ho ho! That is so cool. That's gonna be the name of this episode, Shiva Dragon, baby. I love it, okay. Uh, but I gotta think about things as well. Um, let's first sell some stuff. Red cards. Okay, so I've got Sheep and Dragon. There we go. I really don't like this art of Sheep and Dragon, by the way. I just want the OG art. Probably just because I'm an old man, right? That I prefer that art. Um, okay, let's have a look at the deck. I feel like we need to take some cards out. Probably on the green side of things. Um, ooh, giant spider, perhaps. Uh, I don't know. Lightning bolt, disintegrate, fireball, pyrotechnics, up control. I could take the troll. Nah, I'm not gonna take the troll out. It's tempting to take like the the the, the small creatures out, but it's important to keep them in. I feel. Um,
I mean, crow worm has to stay. It's like the mascot of the deck. I cannot cut the crow worm. Force has been so good in these matches. Um, I'm thinking about thicket, taking a thicket out. Because it's a five casting cost. I've got a lot of five plus cards in the deck. I'm going to take a thicket out. Is it the right decision? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what art cards do I have. There are just so many fun, cool cards, right? In old school. So hard. Like the Ali is also super cool. Maybe I'm going to build an Ali deck. Who knows? But also, look, Drop of Honey is a super cool card. You know, maybe I should play a Desert Twister as well, right? <laughs> that music, by the way, hilarious. Um, I've got four Wonderlust. I could build a Wonderlust deck. <laughs> oh, that's funny. A, a deck full of walls with four Wonderlusts. That has to happen. But not right now. Okay, I've got 60 cards. Um, defeat the Dust Guardian, he'll reward me with any creature. I can get a second Sheevan Dragon. Oh yeah. There we go. I mean, I feel kind of bad. Like the Dust starts on 16, I start on 22. Lanora Elves, Soul Ring, Forest, City of Brass, Factory, Lanora Elves, Cockatrice. Wow, this is very quick hand. I guess I should go... I'm really happy I'm on the draw now, by the way, with this hand. I think I should go Forest, Lanora Elves. Um, next turn I can go Soul Ring. Have four mana. Yeah, soaring another one or else. Oh, look at him go here. I love how like Holy Strength makes it exactly like a 3-3. A three, three. Just like when you put an Unholy Strength on a, a Will of the Wisp, which is a play you saw a lot back in the day. You, you have a 2-2 two, two Regenerator, right? It's kind of nice. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's pumping me up. I thought he put the Giant Growth on the uh, Savannah. Savannah Lines. I'm lucky, I guess. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Let's go factory, soul ring into factory into soul ring. I mean, then we're gonna go Lanora Elves. And then we're gonna go Lanora Elves. Then I think we're gonna play next turn Cockatrice, I think. Could do Trike as well, of course, but I'm gonna first take some damage. I mean, that line has dealt six points of damage. It's pretty impressive. So let's do, don't auto tap this card. Um, you know what, I'm gonna do Trike. I'm gonna go Trike. And I'm going to attack for one. Go on the wells! Mm -hmm. I think eventually this deck, I want to go to maybe four Sheevan Dragons, a Crawl Worm. Um, I guess the two forces still, and then play four um, Birds of Paradise instead of Lanowars. Oh, an Ice Storm. I should play the Ice Storm. Let's take out the planes. Let's attack with the trike. Because I'm going to play Cockatrice anyway. Okay, I'm, I'm lucky here because maybe he could have had a, uh, a Giant Growth. Actually, if he would have played a Giant Growth in response, it could have taken off the counters from trike, killed the Savannah line with it. That would have been a nice, um, a nice line to show. Let's make some green mana. And let's tap my Lunarer friends. There we go, Cockatrice. This art, I mean, I like the art. I think it's cool, but a Cockatrice is actually a really big creature. 
and there's nothing here for scale. It always kind of looks like he's um, on a parking lot or something like this is asphalt, As asphalt, As how do you pronounce it? Anyway, you know what I mean? It's like a parking lot. I always feel this is kind of like small, like a chicken. While in reality, a cockatrice is like huge. It's like twice the size of, a, of an average human male, I think, maybe three times. If you know, let me know in the comments, how, how big, what's the average size of a cockatrice? Let me know. This is important information. <laughs> uh, okay, but the game. Oh, force of nature. Force of nature. You know what we're going to do? We're going to attack first, and then we're going to play the force. I think two force of nature is really a good number. I'm taking a damage and that, that's not necessary, but gotta do it. One, two, three, four. Uh, what to do? Force, let's attack, let's attack, let's attack. Oh, I do love this. Okay, now I can show you that play. Uh-oh. Let's click away the spell chain because I need... Okay, so now it should work. Can we go back to the spell chain? Okay. So I'm... You see, I'm killing the lion before the, the giant growth resolves. Nice, nice that I was able to show you guys that. That's pretty nice. Oh, another trike. Oh, that is really good. And a green diamond. Wow. Okay, let's go back. Hey, I can choose any creature. Um, let's go for the Shiva. Shiva dragon. Yes. But if I add a Shivan, I have to take out a big creature. Okay, but first things first, let's sell some cards. Boom, 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 Shivan Dragon. Oh, what to take out? This is the tough part, right? Um, hmm. This is that point when you're starting to think about taking out the, uh, I'm just gonna take out the ticket. Where you start thinking about taking out the crawl worm, but I've got to remind myself it's the mascot of, you know, of the show. Please check back episode one where I talk about crawl worm. Um, and I want more crawl worms, by the way. I want to have a play set of crawl worms, play set of berserks, put that together in the deck. But right now I'm gonna save because I, I I find the whole thing a little glitchy. Um, can we buy some cards? Not really. Speak to the wise man. To assist you, I shall tell you. None but the guild lords has seen Arzakhan, so nothing said of the monster can be trusted. It is a rumor, however, that it has one fear. Unfortunately, it has been centuries since the two planeswalkers met and fought. Perhaps we're fortunate this rival's not here. Okay, that was vague. I feel like we're missing like half the text whenever we look at these things. Um, what can we do next? Maybe I should try to... You know what? I'm just going to fight a little bit more and just to prepare myself... Because I kind of feel we're almost ready to go into the castle. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm being optimistic. Duel the Warlock. Let's play first. <laughs> um, forest. Forest. 
Shall I go strip mine and strip? Mm. I'm going to do that. I kind of feel that early game, it's usually good to do land destruction. Let's slow him down. Let's go Taiga. Hmm. The thing is, if I don't have Lana or Elves or Untamed Wilds, the deck is looking very, very slow. I definitely need some Moxen. Ooh, Dark Ritual. Taunus' Wand. Oh, that's, that's so awesome, isn't it? Like, AI using Dark Ritual to ramp out Taunus' Wand! Oh, that's so funny. Thomas, by the way, is the right-hand man of Urza. In case you're wondering. Um, I'm going to go on 10 boils. Let's get a mountain. So next turn, if I draw a land, I can cast Crawl Worm, which would be pretty sweet. If I don't draw a land, I can play Cockatrice, Giant Spider, also have a force in hand. Ooh. Oh, look at this. Okay. Uh, but now I actually want to play. I want to play Cockatrice, I guess. Oh, wait, you can make it unblockable with the Taunus' Wand. Oh, I love it. Okay. In that case, I have to kill it. One, two, and then two damage on the Warlock. You got to do what you got to do. I like Taunus' Wand in a deck where you combine it with the uh, the poison creatures. There's a Merc Dwellers. Okay, that's also kind of a nice combo, right? These two cards together. Uh, okay, so what to do now? Oh, I don't have, I cannot play Force of Nature yet. I don't have enough green. Um, I could go Lana or Elves and then Cockatrice. Yeah, because I've got two green. Let's do that. Let's do that. The next turn I can play the Force. So this is nice, right? Because with Thomas's Wand, you can make the Merc Dwellers unblockable. And then it attacks and it deals two points of extra damage. So all of a sudden it's four damage. Which is pretty sweet. So that's, that's a neat trick, I guess. And Merc Dwellers now, by the way, with the big creature upgrade in the 2000s, it became a zombie. Ooh, Frozen Shade. That's actually a bit of a problem. That is not cool. Uh, oh, I can play Try Kill Them All. One. Let's just do Done, see what he does. Um, and attack with Cockatrice, I guess. And pass. I guess I guess I could have done Strip Mine on Untapped Swamp, see how he would respond, and then if he would have tapped it, I could have just in response, deal one damage with the trike. That would have that would have saved me a counter, and then I could have killed the Merc Dwellers. Oh well. Another Merc Dwellers, okay. Let's see if he wants to trade a trike for a Merc Dwellers. He does. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna play giant or I'm gonna play crow worm because I could play force But then I have the upkeep cost and I want to see crow worm shine. I feel like I haven't played crow worm in a while. Oh Wow, so it's unfortunate that he's actually playing it wrong, right? Because he should have done Thomas's want Make Merc dwellers unblockable. Do I want to trade crow worm for the Merc dwellers? Do you know what? I don't. I don't. Because then next turn I can attack with Cockatrice and Crow Worm. 
and win the game with Crow Worm. I could have done Crow Worm block and then play Force, but hey, this is faster. I won some cards and I won an amulet. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sure, let's duel. Change the ante. Duel the forest, dra forest dragon. Hey, a lure. I can put that on one of my thickets. Maybe I should make a classical for journey Chandra's Wild Grove lure thicket deck. Okay, so this hand's not too bad. I've got Strip Mine, Often Troll, Untamed Wilds, Lanawar Elves, Scimitar, Forest, Sheevan. So I think what's really important is that my Lanawar survives so that next turn I can go Forest, Untamed Wilds, get a red. Kind of ramp up. Turn after that, probably play Strip and maybe Dance at Scimitar or Often Troll, depending on what's on the board. Probably Dance at Scimitar. Ooh, he also has a Lanawar. Okay, okay. Um, so let's go Untamed. Tap one. Uh, where are the mountains? Let's go mountain. Pass the turn. Ooh, she even dragon, by the way. That is pretty nice. What is wisdom here? I think I'm just gonna go strip strip a forest. Also because I have a second uh, strip mine. And then I think I'm gonna go often troll because often troll is two attack. So next turn I can swing in with the two two. And strip another land and then play um, Scimitar or play Strip Mine, go for Pyrotechnics. For example, if he now plays a Whirling Dervish or a second Lanor, but I guess he's not doing anything. Ooh, this makes it interesting. I could go Taiga. Let's first attack, see what he does. Yeah, I guess I have to be, I have to be all business. I don't know why, because I'm playing Shanglar, so <laughs> there's no need to be all business, but you know what I mean? Like, I could have gone for um, for Strip, play Pyro, kill Lanawar, deal three damage, next turn, Taiga Shivan. Instead, I just went for the land destruction. Um, let's go Lanawar, and then one, two, and three. And then we're going to attack for three, put him on ten. Oh, he's got a discard. I'm, I feel kind of bad. It's funny, whenever I play these decks like land destruction or discard decks, I always feel bad. <laughs> like it's just, I don't know, it's not in me. Even when I play against an AI, I kind of feel bad. I do have a Winter Orb deck, by the way, where I don't feel bad. Which is weird. Anyway, um, let's see. Cockatrice for five or a badger. I guess I got to go cockatrice, right? Or I could swing in, put him on six, and then with the badger, kill him next turn. Yeah, so I should go badger, actually, because I need that extra point of damage with the Lanawar, because then he's on a two-turn clock. Right, because now I'm dealing four, putting him on six, and next turn I can go for six, kill him, if he doesn't play out a creature, of course. Oh, he's gaining a life. That's actually that actually saves him an entire turn. But I don't mind because it means I get to play my Shivan, which is cool. Shivan Dragon. Why is it? Why not the new, the old art? I mean, why this hideous art? I know there are some people, by the way, who really like this art. So, I mean, go for it. Art is super subjective, but it's just not, it's not my cup of tea. Um, yeah, of course, finish him. Finish him with the Sheevan. 
I mean, he's tapped out as well. What can he do? There we go. Hey, a lure, a winter blast. Urza's mine. That's quite fun. You're a fearsome wizard, says the forest dragon. Ooh, I get extra food. Okay, let's kind of save save the day. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna just uh, leave it at this for now. Maybe first, we'll buy cards if you combine. Ooh, Aladdin's lamp! I gotta buy it. Why? I don't know. It's Aladdin's lamp. I gotta have it. Um, anyway, uh, this is it for now. Thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And um, yeah, next time, you know, I think I'm going to go into the White Tower again next time. <coughs> Sorry, the White Castle. I feel like I'm ready. I think my deck's good. I mean, right? I feel like my deck's good. Good enough, at least. So I'm, I'm just going to go into the White uh, Castle next week. Yeah. Anyway, before you go, please uh, leave a like, comment, um, share it on your socials, all these things really help the channel, so please do. YouTube loves that stuff. Talking about helping the channel, you can also become a patron of the show. Check out patreon.com slash timmytalks. And if you become a member, you get access to the Timmy Discord. There's just a lot of magic happening over there and you know, talk about old school and stuff like that. So if that's something for you, uh, check out patreon.com slash timmytalks. And uh, for now, thank you very much for watching and let's go to the end scroll. Yeah, this was a good session. Let's, let's double save, double save. It's always good. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning, way day up she rises, way day up she rises, way day up she rises. Early in the morning, put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Put him in the long boat until he's sober. Somebody can see.